Good morning, Bulldogs. Hope you had a great weekend. Definitely was an amazing weekend for weather. I'm out here with Rebel. Hey, Rebel. He's a Tennessee Walker. We bought him for a dollar a couple years ago. It's probably a handful of years ago now. Our first horse here on the farm. Um, he's a really cool old guy. He really loves being out on the trail. Even though he's, he's an older guy, he loves being out, going for rides. He'll probably go for one later this afternoon, this evening. Uh, a really cool horse. Um, let's get this rolling, though. we got a great week for homecoming. Please stand for the morning ceremony. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Like I said, I'm looking forward to an amazing week as we get back to normalcy here in Bulldog country. Uh, this is homecoming week. Ada and I came up and watched the hallways being decorated. Uh, really cool to get back to uh, that old tradition here at Livonia Middle High School. Uh, a lot of students working really hard this weekend uh, to decorate those halls. Just remember uh, what makes us unique here is not only do we have traditions like this, um, but the way we respect these traditions. So a lot of students working hard this week. Uh, make sure we respect the work they put into the hallways uh, and making sure we make sure we keep them uh, the way they were put together this weekend. So um, once again, great job to all those that were part of that this weekend. A lot of activities this week. Um, if you look at the dress up days uh, today, um, you have each grade has a different uh, age group that you dress up as. Uh, tomorrow is country versus country club. Uh, Wednesday, we have uh, pop culture day. So you dress up as your favorite TV character, TV show, pop culture reference. Thursday is dress up day. And then Friday is our house. Uh, where we're gonna be uh, dressed up uh, by class colors and then also by blue and blue and orange in the uh, six, eight grades. Thursday is picture day. So it's a great day to have dress up day. So we'll be dressing up in our best uh, for that day. We have a homecoming parade and game on Saturday. Uh, should be a really cool thing. And just another list of activities over there to the right. Um, not only do we have the dance coming uh, Saturday night, but then we also have uh, some games coming up this weekend. So we have starts out with uh, JV girls and varsity soccer on Friday, along with JV and varsity volleyball on Friday. Then we go into the homecoming Saturday where we have cross countries at McQuaid. We have the football game at three o'clock and then boys and JV soccer at night. there will also be a dance that night. Uh, once again, there's a limit. Uh, we're looking to sell tickets this week to juniors and seniors, 200 person limit. I know there's been some uh, discussion around that. I uh, just remember that last year we didn't have any dances. Uh, this is our first one. If we work through this one and it goes well, then we can have more for every age group and every grade in the middle high school. So uh, more to come. Once again, we're moving farther than we did last year and we'll continue to do so as long as we do it the right way. And when we go along those lines, remember for us to stay in business and keep a lot of this good stuff happening that's happened during homecoming, we need to continue to follow the regulations in place. I know that I'm having more and more conversations with people about masks. Uh, make sure you're wearing them up over your nose and you're wearing them, uh, especially when we're switching in the hallways. I know there'll be breaks in class when you're seated at times. Uh, we need to make sure that you're wearing them, um, especially when you're wearing them in the uh, hallways between classes and uh, make sure we're following those rules. Same thing with bathrooms. Once again, there was a handful of people that were um, sent home last week um, for not following the regulations in bathrooms. You should be going to class first and then asking to go to the bathroom. You shouldn't be going in between classes. You should be going right to class. And then when you're in the bathroom, there should only be five people in the bathroom and there shouldn't be more than one in a stall. And obviously you should be conducting yourself in appropriate fashion in the bathroom. So once again, um, more kids are sent home last week because of situations in the bathroom. Uh, sounds silly to say out loud, but uh, we need to make sure that we're following the guidelines in place. If we want more and more of these uh, normal type activities that are happening during homecoming to continue throughout the year. A lot of it's gonna be how well we follow the safety guidelines. I'm gonna leave you with a little inspiration here of top reasons why kind people rock. Some people think that uh, kindness is a weakness, it's actually a strength. Why, what's the top reasons why kind people are, end up ruling the world is they give us hope. Uh, as we're inundated with uh, negative stories in our news feeds, acts of kindness remind us that there's still a lot more good in the world and kind people help the rest of us keep going even on our toughest days. Uh, kind people, they lift others up. They not only lift others up who might find themselves in bad situations, but they also lift us up 
by inspiring them, inspiring others with their efforts. Their actions reach much, much farther than the initial act. And they're also selfless. They're not rewarded by tangible objects in a world focused on money or status. Uh, the people that are content knowing that their actions have a more profound impact on the life of those around them. Kind people don't look for praise. They rarely take credit for their actions. They usually respond with, oh, it's no big deal. Kind people are productive. They keep going no matter what. They put others before themselves. This includes when it's inconvenient for them. Kind people aren't takers. They give and give and they usually don't take anything back. They usually help progress rather than taking what others have created and using it up. They're always creating opportunities for themselves and others. Kind people don't judge others. No matter what people say, kind people don't judge others. They see everyone as equals, regardless of their circumstances. They don't shut others out. Kind people accept everyone who comes into their lives and they look for that common thread that brings them together. Kind people are role models. They inspire us to be the person we know we can be. We put all we have into every aspect of our lives. And last thing, kind people, their acts are contagious. Being kind sets off a chain reaction. One tiny act of kindness can cause a ripple effect uh, that can be felt throughout our lives, throughout Bulldog Country. All it takes is one person to set the ball in motion. I'll leave you some quotes about kindness. Like I said, sometimes people think of kindness as a weakness. Uh, kindness is all about strength. It's all about courage. Kindness is loaning someone your strength instead of reminding them of their weaknesses. So once again, looking forward to a great week, Bulldogs. Stay strong.